Hey, what's going on there, folks? Our Earthmaster here, jumping in just real quick. Uh, good morning, good evening. Uh, wherever you're at there, it's about 10.04 a.m. West Coast time here in Northern California, April 16, 2020. And taking a look at this very active Earthquake 3D globe here, uh, shows earthquake activity 2.5 and above here in the United States, and then uh, uh, 4.0 and above internationally out here, looking pretty active no matter uh, where you look at on the globe here. 6.0 earthquake struck uh, quite some time ago, quite a few hours ago, off the coast of Honduras. That one there being felt by quite a few folks in the region. Kind of a fairly large quake. Of course, that area can see a little bit larger than that. But uh, luckily, this one here only struck at a magnitude 6.0 uh, a couple days ago prior to that, I should say. <clears throat> uh, just about at the 24 hour period here we've seen a little cluster of quakes here in the 5 range just to the south and to the west of that 6.0 that struck this morning near Honduras it's a little bit of plate movement down there in that region uh, shooting, shooting up here to the north I tell you what and I mentioned this last night in the update video pretty active in the United States there um, all the way from Mammoth Lakes uh, into Utah where they also had another 4.2 quake there in Utah uh, and then all the earthquake activity up in Idaho just a massive amount of earthquakes there in the region but uh, if you take a look over here to the west folks Pacific Northwest up through Vancouver Island up here nothing not a whole lot of earthquake activity and we can go back we can go back quite a few days and there's only been a couple spotty two-pointers there um, in the Pacific Northwest with a tremendous amount of earthquakes uh, taking place there in the Intermountain West, Southern California and uh, in the parts of Idaho. Just just a lot. That's And that's only 2.5 and above right there. So there's been a much more than that that's on the globe that's happening there in the... Uh, um, in the Intermountain West region. So what, so what does it all mean? I think, and I'm going to show you this other map here too. I, I don't show it too often. It's the uh, slow slip event movement map here from the, uh, well, let's see if I can get that right there, Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. Let me add that back down to, there we go. If you're a viewer, a longtime viewer here on the station, on the uh, station, on the channel, then you would realize that um, this is the slow slip event monitoring page here from the PNSN uh, Pacific Seismic uh, Pacific Northwest. What is it here? Oh, let me see here. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. Got those all mixed up here. <clears throat> I'm not dyslexic. I'm just lacking caffeine. Um, check it out. There's not a whole lot of... Oh, that was weird. I wonder if I got a ghost in here. I just heard some stuff moving around in the kitchen. Um, I'll have to check that here in a minute. Uh, yeah, no movement whatsoever, folks, along the uh, Cascadia Subduction Zone. The the uh, the movements pretty skim looking past uh, actually the last five days of activity there's been no movement whatsoever in the uh, in that region and that's kind of concerning there uh, because we do see quite a bit of activity when it's about when it's uh, you know, doing its thing down here. Hold on a second. I'm not seeing the same thing on my other on the other side here. Real quick. Hold on. I'm not for sure why the version I'm showing has a blacked out banner on the right because <clears throat> you can see what I'm seeing there. It says latest trimmer five days ago. Um, so that's pretty much five days of no activity 
in the region of the Cascadia subduction zone, the slow slip event or slow slippage area. And that's the uh, subduction area where we're seeing the, the two plates kind of slowly slip past each other. It's a North American plate and the Juan de Fuca plate. Of course, Juan de Fuca plate uh, subducting. And uh, there's just been absolutely no movement on this in this area anywhere. <clears throat> Losing my voice too. Um, from Northern California all the way to, up to Vancouver Island and northward. Nothing. I and mean, it's just kind of a eerie, odd, quiet spell. And if that's the case, if nothing's, you know, moving down there, releasing pressure downward, I can only imagine that we're seeing a continued buildup of pressure um, all the way from that stuck point where there's been no slippage um, all the way up to the surface area where the Cascadia subduction zone uh, starts, where we could see where there's already pressure, right? Where, where there's been a lot of pressure built up over the last 300 years, 320. And uh, that's uh, kind of concerning because that could mean, and it could point to uh, seeing a potential quake in this area, uh, especially with the lack of earthquakes over the last like I said, at least the past few days in that area, there hasn't been any type of major movement there in the Pacific Northwest and none to the north of there, north of Vancouver, nothing. But these little 2.5s, 2.6 off the coast there and into Washington and Oregon, just not a lot of movement compared to what we've seen on the Intermountain West here. So I think it's something to uh, pay very close attention to as we could see this area right here um, pointing towards a larger quake. Now how large? I, I can't really guess, but um, I believe this is where we're going to see probably a, a little bit larger quake here pretty soon. Just too quiet um, and too much movement going on around it for, not, uh, for it to not have a quake here pretty soon. Um, let's get back to the last 24 hours here, right there, and it's just, as I mentioned, it's kind of above normal earthquake activity right now globally. It's just looking crazy everywhere along the western part of the Pacific Plate. Um, over here through this part of the world, nothing out of the ordinary, just quite a few um, fours up there around the Mediterranean region. latest quake on the map shows a 2.8 there in uh, looks like Southern California there's so many earthquakes on this map it's even hard to it's hard to tell we'll go ahead and go back with this globe here or this map and um, check it out I just wanted to just wanted to jump in real quick folks and kind of point out all the uh, uh, activity that's just occurred today and overnight the 4.2 earthquake there in Utah. We had a four pointer back down in Mammoth Lakes as well. And that's that blue one there. And these are just 2.5 and above here. But the, multi the uh, magnitudes here are increasing a little bit. 4.0, like I said, and then a 4.2 Salt Lake City. And then, uh, of course, Idaho up there showing the activity there in Idaho. Once again, still shooting pretty close to that sawtooth fault system there. Quite a few threes. Uh, 3.9, I believe, was the largest, at least within this little cluster here. And go back seven days, 2.5 and above, and that just kind of blows things up. Um, gives a little bit better detail of what's taking place out here. I think we're looking at a couple hot spots, folks. If we don't see a larger earthquake out here on this sawtooth fault system here, um, pretty soon I, I will be surprised. There's too much activity in and around it uh, for it to not um, take place, considering it's been, what was it, 7,000 to 4,000 years ago? 7,000 and 4,000 years ago when they last had the... Uh, 
uh, a pretty good sized quake on here. If you didn't watch the uh, update video from last night, I'd go into a little bit more detail about it, about this sawtooth fault system and the potential for a 7.5 out there. And uh, 4,000 years ago, <clears throat> so that means quite a bit of pressure has been built up um, within this region, right? <laughs> quite a bit. Um, they did have a small little quake up here in Montana region. Um, looks like a 3.3 near Polson and 2.5 there in Lincoln, Montana. Uh, Yellowstone still kind of kind of shaking and rattling a little bit uh, with some swarming. I believe it's died down today, but we'll go ahead and check this map here real quick. Let me get this up here. I wasn't going to show it, but it's kind of important to show all the earthquake activity that's taken place in Idaho that's uh, well, very much shown up here on, on the uh, Yellowstone stations. Let's see here. Overview of the Yellowstone National Park right here. It's a pretty cool site. Uh, is this thing on? Is the website? Is this thing on.org slash Yellowstone? Uh, if you want to check out the overview of the seismograph data stations there in Yellowstone National Park, you can see uh, the quake showing up pretty nicely, even in the northeast corner of Yellowstone National Park. Now these here, I'm, I'm guessing that they've amplified the data pickup on these because they're picking it up a lot better than some of these other stations in the middle of the park, like Pelican, Pelican Cove, Joseph's Coat all these barely showing any of the other uh, any of these quakes that are taking place so they got the data pretty much flatlined um, squashed if you will uh, when it comes to picking up the Idaho quakes and other quakes um, outside of the localized area so they can manipulate the uh, um, sensitivity of these stations so that it picks up pretty much nothing like Old Faithful here um, in the middle that's not even showing anything at all so it's kind of strange why they would do that but they're the uh, professionals they know what they're doing right anyway I don't see any more swarming uh, like I say there was a little bit and it may have gone past that uh, that 24 hour period there of data yeah, it looks like it has, but uh, yeah, so these are not quakes in Yellowstone National Park. These are quakes being picked up from the Idaho activity. Uh, of course, 3.9, anything pretty much, I believe 3.0 is going to show up uh, on these stations here. What are they, about 200, and, I think they're about 225 miles from uh, uh, from the Idaho activity, so... No doubt they're picking it up pretty nicely. But um, anyway, folks, uh, you know, I don't like picking and choosing where we're going to see earthquakes or saying where we're going to see one because I don't predict them. I'm not an earthquake predictor. Nobody can do that. Sorry. Um, you can take a look at the simple plate tectonics of the Earth and realize that if there's so much movement on one section of the plate, you know, pretty much say 75% of the, the Pacific plate seen some large scale movement. Uh, it's only natural for plate tectonics to follow a simple um, adjustment somewhere else when it comes to all that movement. And with the lack of activity in the Pacific Northwest, uh, that's a good potential um, to start looking at for a, uh, some future movement here pretty soon. Especially with all this inner <clears throat> inner mountain west region ah, excuse me <clears throat> I don't know what it is my voice is not doing good so yeah just be prepared folks uh, you know I'll be off here for a little bit uh, also monitoring the station here the station what do I keep saying that it's like a radio station out here welcome welcome to I'm not going to throw out any call letters because I don't want to get any. Uh, don't want to get any uh, 
radio folks mad out there. Anyway, okay, enough blabbering. Gonna jump back off here for a little bit and monitor the live stream. Hope everyone has a safe day. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Pacific Northwest, be on the lookout. We'll talk to you guys a little bit later.